Hello students, welcome to the class on product design. So in the previous video, so we discussed about the how to uh, make the target specification. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the setting final specifications. As we all know, the specification will come in the two stages. That is the establishing target specification that is before the identifying the customer needs. Sorry, after identifying the customer needs and also we are going to get the specification after testing the product concept that is we are going to set the set final specification so when we are going to do the established target specification is based on customer needs and benchmarking whereas final specification we are going to set based on selected concept or feasibility and trade-offs so let us see how to develop uh, final specification of a selected products so there are five steps are there to select the i mean to create the final specification so they are as follows so let us discuss one by one the first one is develop technical model of the product what is the meaning of that so technical model of a product is a tool for predicting the values of the matrix for a particular set of design decisions so this means so rather than creating a physical model and testing so we are going to create a virtual product so this is where the engineers come in the picture in the product design okay so we are going to create analytical models with the help of mathematical models or with the help of other design tools or CAD tools we are going to do a virtual model and we are going to give the set of different inputs and we are going to check the what are the outputs. So that is what we are going to call as develop technical model of the product. So why? Because so if you are going to create an actual physical product, so the, the cost will be more. Okay. So that's why it is always preferable to check, I mean to develop the virtual model and do the analysis so then it is final so then we can go to the other steps so that we can see here so model we are going we can develop input i mean models um, maybe with the help of mathematical models so our static models we are going to develop uh, we are going to give a set of inputs and we are going to check the what are the outputs okay so let me explain this with an, one of the technical model or example so here we are planning to design Okay, starting you are trying to develop a model on brake mounting stiffness okay we are going to develop an analytical model we are trying to design a mount, uh, bike fork brake mounting stiffness we are main target is we are trying to develop a model for stiffness so that the main product specification is stiffness so this stiffness depends upon the different categories different parameters that is the support geometry material properties tube geometry mounting points so these are the various parameters where the stiffness on depends okay so we are going to vary these parameters and we are going to check out what is the output so so this is what we are going to call as technical model okay so next step is to develop a cost model of the product so here the main aim of this step is to can we achieve the target price what is the meaning of target price means so it incurs target cost i mean what is the actual manufacturing cost and also what is the profit i am going to get from the manufacturing cost so this target price must be uh, competitive enough uh, to uh, make competitive business in the environment okay so target prime is we have to make a profit from the product so this can be achieved with the help of manufacture uh, doing a bill of materials so what is the meaning of bill of materials we are going to create what the, the physical components required in how much quantity is required and what are the materials are required so that we are going to call as bill of material to manufacture a product what are the various components how uh, in what numbers you want and what are the materials that you want so that we are going to call as bill of material next one cost estimation yields what is the meaning of cost estimation yields means 
so as we know so when we are trying to manufacture any products so there will be n number of companies will be there so which are manufacturing the same components with will be different specifications so we need to compare all the other available markets i mean available components in the market so that we can easily analyze which component is suitable for our specification so that the main thing is cost analysis we are going to do so where i can get my required component with less possible amount so that we are going to call as cost estimation yield so that we can sell the make a product at a better price and we can earn a more profit from this so this is what we are going to call as step number 2 develop a cost model of the product so next one is refine the specifications making trade offs wherever necessary as we as i told the cost of the product will be fixed so at what amount i need to sell the product that is been fixed so now we need to make a trade off for example so the, as i told there will be n number of components will be there so that will be component manufactured by the different companies the different cost and it will be having different specifications so if some component a is cost around 100 rupees if the same type of component with less some specification so we are getting for 80 rupees so then we need to do the analysis then we need to go for a, a product a or a product b so that we are going to do the analysis so we are going to trade up somewhere we have to uh, go for some compromise compromise so that we are going to call as trade offs so let me explain this here we are going to use a tool called as competitive map tool okay so in this competitive map tool in the x axis here, here i have taken the example of manufacturing a brake mountain fork okay so here we have uh, developed a graph or estimated manufacturing uh, cost versus score on monster okay so here we have a different products are there which is manufacturing the mountain fork so out of those so we are planning to launch a new product okay based on the customer needs or specifications we are trying to launch a new product so within this range of value see you can see the ideal values so if i there are two concepts i have selected concept a and concept b so we need to trade off between these two concepts so which concept will be more beneficial how i am going to target my product to the customers how i am going to launch the product okay so that is what we are going to trying to develop with the help of competitive model so this is ideal value but so this is a marginal range why where i can position my product so that can be done with the help of competitive tool so that is a step number 3 so next one is step number 4 flow down the specification as appropriate what is the meaning of this so when the product is simple so we can easily develop the uh, product cost and specifications of all but when the product is a complex system okay for example you can take automobile car truck or a bike so this product consists of a n number of system there are different systems which will combine together to give a product so therefore in this if the system is so much complicated we have going to divide the product into different sub systems and we have to uh, do the component specification what are the manufacturing specification for each sub system so in this system we are going to combine it and we are going to check whether it is feasible in the market or not so that we are going to call as the flow down the specification as appropriate you are going to do the system level design okay so we are going to bifurcate the system into number of sub systems if it is a complex system so that is what the step number 4 so next one is step number 5 reflect on the results and the process so as we know that the last one is we need to review each and every step whatever that what we are doing is that product will be winner in the market whether it is going to satisfy the customer needs or not 
So this is a review question. Each and every step we need to ask ourselves as a design team. So whether this product will be competitive enough with the other markets. Not only that one. So whether this can be. What are the uncertainties in the technical and cost model? So that are the things we need to analyze. At the last step, that is a review step, that is the results on the results and the process. Okay, this is all about the establishing final specification. I hope you understood. Thank you. Namaste.